Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our best hard floor cleaner video for early 2024. Whether you call these hard floor cleaners vacuum mop combos or wet dry vacs, they've become very popular over the last few years. We bought many of the best selling models and put them through all kinds of tests over the last few weeks to see if we could figure out which one was the best. We took the results of those tests as well as their specs and features and gave them all scores. And in this video, I'll reveal the top five overall winners based on those scores as well as our specific picks in three different categories. So links in the description description and let's get started. First, the basics. All of these are designed to vacuum and mop your hard floors at the same time, sort of doing two things at once. They're perfect for people with all or mostly all hard floors in their house. They all operate pretty much the same way. You fill their clean water tank with water and the included solution. They will either have a button to manually dispense the water to the roller or the water will be automatically dispensed like with the more expensive ones. You then just vacuum back and forth as normal until the job is done. They can pick up anything a normal vacuum can in terms of debris and hair, but they can also mop up stuck on stains or even large wet spills. All of these have a self-cleaning mode, which we found to be pretty good at cleaning the machine thoroughly and minimizing maintenance. Unless, that is, you're using them to vacuum up large, wet, messy spills, in which case I strongly recommend that you manually clean them after each use. Starting off with their specs and features, some of these are cordless and some are corded. While cordless vacuums are obviously much more convenient, the corded versions like the Tinko S5 Steam and the Bissell Hydro Steam have at least one advantage, because they can use steam where the cordless ones can't. This is because the steam heater element requires a lot of power, so it needs to be plugged in. And as we'll see in the dry pickup torture test later on, it was a good trade-off in some cases. We gave them extra points if they had an auto Auto mode, which typically uses sensors to determine how dirty the floor is in order to automatically increase or decrease the suction power and or brush speed. Also, I should note here that though we tested over 20 of these, I'm only going to show the top five from each category on the screen. They got extra points if they had an LED screen and more points if they had an LCD screen, which had things like a real-time battery life information display. They got scores based on their combined clean and dirty water tank capacity, where the bigger they were, the better. We also weighed each one and gave them scores where the lighter they were, the better. I gave them a few extra points if they were self-propelled. Some of them have a feature designed to clean edges better by having no space on one side of the head so that it can get closer to the wall. They'll either have one side that can clean edges or in the case of the Tinko S7 Pro, it can do this on both of its sides. I gave them a lot of points if they had a self-drying mode that drives the roller after each use. Moving on to the bench tests, this is where we test things like their sealed suction and unsealed suction, which we combine to give them an overall suction score. We also tested their noise level from a fixed distance on max power. We did basic pickup tests for each of these as well, and they all seemed to be very good at their most basic job of picking up everything they touched on hard floors. Everything from fine debris to large debris and even wet messes. Some of the manufacturers say that they can be used on carpets, and while that is technically true, they aren't very good with carpets since they don't agitate them and they tend to make them wet. Moving on to the performance tests, and this is where I I think the winners pulled ahead from the rest. Starting off with a glow-in-the-dark wet test. This is a timed test with the same amount of wet material. I found that these machines, when overloaded like this, tend to leave streaks, and this torture test seems to be a good way to see how well they process water and clean their own brush, both of which are important for floor washers. Interestingly, the newer Tinkos dominated this test. The combined average for the top five was 95 seconds, where the average for the rest of the pack was almost double that at 166 seconds. So the newer, more expensive Tinkos seem to be doing something right. But one of the most interesting tests was the dried pickup torture test. This is where we used exact amounts of dried coffee and dried grape juice, and using primed rollers on max power, we simply counted the number of timed passes it took to eliminate the stains. Here, the clear winners were the two that used steam, though the Tinko S5 steam did a bit better than the Bissell Hydro steam. Apparently, the hot steam really does make a difference when trying to loosen difficult stains like these, and it really was noticeable. You could probably make the case that the steam sanitizes the floors too, but that's a much more difficult thing to test. 
The Shark Hydrovax, both the cordless and corded models, did good with this pickup test as well. Before I move on to the winners, let me make some points about the scoring. I decided that I would not take battery life or other battery-related features into account for this video in order to make it a fair fight for the corded versions, especially because the corded versions actually did better at cleaning in some cases. I also did not take prices into account for the overall score, choosing instead to have it be purely performance-based, though I will take prices into account when I make my personal picks. So the top five overall winners were number one, the Tinko S5 Steam, the Tinko S7 Pro, the Tinko S5 Pro, the new S5 version called the S5 Smart or Blue version, and the Bissell Crosswave Hydro Steam. These five are in significantly different price ranges though. But interestingly, the number one overall winner, the Tinko Corded S5 Steam, is the second cheapest in the top five right now. So either way you look at it, it is my number one overall pick. If you want to go the cordless route, I personally would not go with the S7 Pro despite it coming in second because it's by far the most expensive on the list and I'm not sure there's all that much difference between it and the other much cheaper S5 series vacuums. The Tinko S5 series has been updated and whether you get the S5 Smart Blue or the S5 Pro 2 for a little more money, it seems to me you're getting a lot more value. So either one of those are my mid-level or value picks. For my budget pick, I went with the Shark Hydrovac Cordless, though the corded version is good too and cheaper. They both had good scores overall, especially where it counted on the performance tests. And while they're not exactly cheap, they are less expensive than many of the others. Links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching. All of the links in our description section are updated regularly to reflect our current favorite vacuums in multiple categories. If you don't know where to start, check out our latest Vacuum Buyer's Guide video linked here. You'll also find links to the VacuumWars.com website in the description where we post all the latest vacuum news as well as much more detailed top five lists in multiple categories.